Hello everyone, my name is Joel Eichelkraut and I'm a software engineer at L3Harris. Today my colleagues and I are going to tell you about how we use lasers to produce 3D data using a technology called LIDAR. LIDAR is an acronym for Light, Detection, and Ranging. We create particles of light called photons with a laser. We then use a photon detector to time how long it takes for those photons to reflect off of a target and come back to our sensor. Using this time of flight for the photon and the speed of light, which is approximately 300 million meters per second, we can determine how far away the target is, also known as the range. This has many different applications, from scanning the inside of a building to being used for self-driving cars. Our application is called Airborne LiDAR, where we put a LiDAR sensor on an airplane using a laser that flashes 50,000 times every second. By doing this so fast from such a high altitude, as we fly over an area, we are able to create 3D data for large areas. In the data sets we are about to show, you will be able to see all kinds of different 3D features we can collect with LiDAR. These will include buildings, roads, trees, power lines, football stadiums, and even Ferris wheels. With that, I will turn it over to my colleague Gabriel Maldonado, who will use a 3D viewer to show you data that we collected in the city of Seattle. Hi, my name is Gabriel Maldonado, and I'm a system engineer with L3Harris. I'm going to be showing you some samples of our Seattle data. One of the features that stands out is CenturyLink field. As you can see in our data, it is possible to see people. You can see them down in the field and sitting in the stands. Another interesting feature is the fact that we can read CenturyLink field even though our sensor only registers distance. This is thanks to the fact that certain objects reflect more often. This allows us to create what we call a relative intensity image. Another feature that stands out in Seattle is Safeco Field. Safeco Field has a retractable roof that slides on rails. In our data, the stadium looks like it has the roof both open and closed. This is due to the fact that we collect the same area more than once. This allows for the chance of the stadium being open in one collect and closed in another. Since this is the case, we must have seen the field when the roof was open, right? Using 3D data, it is possible to remove data based on its elevation. This allows us to remove the roof and see what's underneath. Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Once we peel off the roof, it's actually revealed that the field was being prepared for a concert. You can see the stage and center field. On the other side of downtown Seattle, you'll find the Space Needle. The Space Needle is an observation deck built in the 1960s. It quickly became an icon of Seattle. Surrounded by museums, this is a great area to walk around and explore. Although we're flying at 15,000 feet in the air, the great thing about this sensor is its resolution. You can still make out features like power lines. This allows power companies to figure out where exactly their power lines are and if there are trees growing too close to the power lines. Another interesting feature that we picked up is this art sculpture. This art sculpture was meant to look like a surface from underneath, but from above kind of looks like a spider web, doesn't it? LiDAR data has many applications. The 3D data can be used for water management to help plan and prevent flooding. It can be used by cell phone companies to help figure out where to place antennas to improve reception. It can be used by airports to figure out where to put security cameras and radars to keep their runway safe, and many, many more. But the really cool thing about this is even though it all looks like surfaces that you're looking at, as you get closer and closer, you start to realize 
this is really made out of millions and millions of little dots floating in 3D space. And that's what makes us really special. Hello, my name is Austin Jones, and I help with the LiDAR flight operations. Today, I'll be showing some of our Chicago data. Here in Google Earth, you can see Chicago's Navy Pier. Here, we can see that very same Ferris wheel and pier constructed with the LiDAR data we collected. The different colors relate to an object's elevation, or how high it is off the ground. The red and orange colors show high elevation, where the dark blue and purple areas are low elevation. In this clip, you can see Soldier Field, where the Chicago Bears football team plays, as well as the famous Field Museum in the back. And here is the same stadium and museum constructed using our 3D data. Our 3D models are detailed enough to perfectly make out stadium features like bleachers and jumbotrons. The data is accurate enough so that you can clearly see objects like cars, trains, planes, and even boats, as seen here in the Chicago Harbor. The Aqua Building is one of Chicago's more unique skyscrapers due to its unusual shape. In our 3D model of the Aqua Building, you can clearly make out the wavy features of the building's floors. The Marina Towers, overlooking the famous Chicago River, are another one of downtown Chicago's unique buildings. With our data, you can easily identify air conditioning fans, satellite dishes, and spires because of the quality of our data. Thanks for taking the time to learn about LiDAR technology with us.